Hello everybody. Um, I was playing around and figured out something interesting I thought I'd share with y'all. Um, because of the recent animation explosion that's kind of happening on the Nexus. Uh, I found some really cool twin blade animations the other day by Black and created some twin blades for them. And these are set up as a great sword in the creation kit but they have a keyword attached to them so that in the dynamic animation replacer conditions folder it's referencing a greatsword but also referencing the keyword and I'm going to show you that right now just so you can kind of take a look at it so if we go into our data folder and we go into meshes actors, character, animations, and then you want to go into dynamic animation replacer, underscore custom conditions, and I put this all the way at the end so it'd be kind of easy to find. But this is a thrusting animation from black that I set the conditions up to be using uh, is equipped right type 1, which is a sword, and is equipped right has keyword mariner sword ESP, and then the reference ID. And I'll show you how to get that in a minute. And using this, this is the only condition, it, because it's and, right? that will use this set of animations. Otherwise, it just defaults back to whatever uh, is equipped right type one animation I have installed below this in my folder structure in Dynamic Animation Replacer. So what this allows me to do is have two swords, one of them playing a regular sword animation that I want to use, and another one playing a specific animation for that specific um, sword from that specific ESP that has that keyword. So let's go into the game and I'll show you what that looks like. And what kind of gave me this idea was um, creating twin blades and using the twin blade animation from Black. Um, because that setup is a great sword. So I, I have a great sword on my back right now. And you can see how this works, right? So I have a certain animation for my great sword. But then if I switch to my twin blade, which is also a great sword, I have a different set of animations. because it's being referenced as um, from a keyword. So I decided, well, if I can do that for two great swords, why not do it for two swords? So let's equip just a regular sword, which is Orcrest, right? And I have one set of animations. for that sword, but then I set up a keyword on Mariner's sword so that it would reference a different set of animations in the DAR folder. One that was, if I, <laughs> if I stop playing the, uh, the idle animation, okay, there we go. <laughs> I love Sky Idols, but they play at the weirdest times, so. So this is uh, Black's thrusting animation, which tends to work really well for this kind of hybrid rapier sword that I made in Mariner's sword. But I'm able to get, considering that's a sword, right? This is also a sword. And this is going to play a different set of animations because it doesn't have that keyword. 
So let's go in and take a look at that and see how that's set up. So this is the thrusting animation that I have set up with using the keyword in the creation kit that I set up, right? So let's take a look in the creation kit so you can see how that's done. And we'll do it for the Mariner Sword because that's what I have open here. And we're going to go ahead and open a Mariner Sword as the active file. And the first step, I think, would be making sure that it's not flagged as an ESL. And if it is flagged as an ESL, you're going to need to go into XEdit and take the ESL flag off of it. Because once you add a keyword to it, you may have to compact the form IDs to change it back to ESL. Okay, so that's kind of an important thing to keep in mind. But if you come under miscellaneous and you go into keyword, what I did was I came down here to weapon type and I added a new weapon type so you can right click and you can say new but I've already done that and I added a weapon type for mariner sword weapon type mariner okay and then I gave it a color I'm not sure if this color really matters or not but this is the one I set up for Twin Blades, which matches Twin Blades of Skyrim as 882110. So I just kept it consistent with that. And then say OK. And then you can go into your weapon and find your Mariner Sword. Come on, open up. And then under Keywords, right click and New. And then pick web type mariner the one you just set up so now it has a keyword attached to it and then go ahead and say okay and then save the plugin uh yeah considering we already have the game going let's not save the plugin <laughs> uh, but if you don't have the game running in the background you can save the plugin Well, let's close that out so we can get back to this. Um, once that's set up, I found the easiest way to find this last reference number is using uh, Rybash. So let's open up Rybash. And I'll show you how to find that number right there. So we're going to go down to Mariner Sword, and these are all alphabetical, so I should be able to find it pretty quickly here hopefully mariner sword right click and go to details and then under keyword you will have the keyword that you set up web type mariner and it's going to give you that number right there 01000805 so you want to go 0x because it may be like 04 or whatever, depending on what masters you have loaded with it. Okay, but that's not important. So that's why it's 0x. But these last numbers right here are important that you match the ones that are here. Okay? And then only if it has this keyword will it trigger those animations that you set up in your dynamic animation uh, replacer folder. Otherwise, it'll default back to a lower number that you have for your great swords or for your swords or for whatever. OK, but that's how you set it up. And doing that, the possibilities are pretty much limitless. You can pretty much add a different animation for every mod added sword that you add a keyword to. So again, I have these. 
for my regular swords. And then if I change over, if it would stop auto saving on me, <laughs> if I change over to my Mariner sword, which I set a keyword for to play a different set of animations, it'll play the other set of animations that are more fitting for this style sword. And that, my friends, is your tutorial for the day on how to get different animations for different swords uh, set up the same way in the CK. Peace out. Until next time.